1-800-491-CJAD. Get in the game. Montreal Canadiens Hockey on CJAD 800. Decision-making time for head coach Guy Carboneau and his coaching staff. The Canadiens 3-2 losers to the Flyers in Philadelphia tonight. The Flyers now lead the series two games to one. Game four goes Wednesday night at the Wachovia Center. All the action right here on Montreal's News Talk leader, CJAD 800. In my books, in my books, you go with the Yaroslav Halak. Came in over the final 20 minutes after Carey Price gave up three goals in the second period. Halak not very busy, only two shots faced. That's because the Canadians got busy with a couple of goals thanks to a five-minute major to Hatcher, but the comeback fell short. 514-790-0991, Star Talk, a free call on Bell Mobility. Derek joins us from Laval. Derek, welcome to the show. Yes, hi, Avis. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, well, yes, I agree with you. I'd like to see Halak in the next game, but uh, more importantly, and it's not going to be a very popular choice, but one player I'd like to see in the lineup for uh, our next game is, uh, is Breedwell, and I'll tell you why. Uh, not because he's a spectacular player like uh, like Larry Robinson in that sense, but he's the only player that played for us and won the Cup back in 93. Now, the, but before you go on, and you make a good point, uh, the problem with Breezebaugh is that he has a leg injury. Oh, see, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. About he's that. hurting. Yeah, he's hurting. And and I, and I agree with you. I mean, I think Ryan O'Byrne has looked okay. He, he looks like a rookie out there, however, playing, seeing his first Stanley Cup action. And I think Patrice Breezebaugh, by and large, has done a pretty darn good job along the blue line. Well, he's inspirational to other players. Yeah. In the dressing room and on the ice. I agree with you. Thanks for the call. 514-790.